Hello, this is Mohammed Mahdi, Product Management Engineer for Access Security, and this is our demo lab for the Identity Aware Proxy. Zero Trust Control Points and those are the main areas we need to secure to achieve the Zero Trust strategy. We start with the identity service, the network, the endpoints accessing the applications, and the applications themselves. We have three main principles for Zero Trust. Never trust, always verify, continuously monitor. Now, let's start our demo. We will start with selecting the proper template from the Access Guided Configuration Templates, which is the Identity Aware Proxy in our case. For our demo, we will enable Device Posture Check, Multi-Factor Authentication, and Single Sign-On. Here we select the CA certificate that's used for validating the signed data from F5 Access Guard, which is used to define the device security posture. We then enable what we need for our firewall uh, checks, and we enter the domain name we need to validate that the user is part of. Now with our virtual server settings. The user identity section allows us to configure user authentication part along with multi-factor authentication. For user authentication, we will integrate with the Active Directory, while for multi-factor authentication, we will use the Radius server. We have a wide range of SSO options. For our demo, we will use a basic SSO. We have two elements for the application section, authentication domain that's used to perform the initial authentication. It needs to be different from the application FQDN, but can still point to the same virtual server. The application FQDN, this one is used for the application itself. We have two types of flows, the per session flow, and the per request flow. The per session, which is configured under the web top section, and the per request is configured under the contextual section. Per session is for the initial access of the user. Per request is the continuous monitoring part of this uh, policy. It checks the device posture, the user logins validation, and the MFA without disturbing the user experience. Under customization section, we update the remediation page, which is used to download the latest endpoint inspection package. This one will be the same as the authentication domain FQDN. Let's start with the client machine joined to the domain and its firewall is on. Then we will test once we turn the firewall off. In the second case, user doesn't need to relog in for the posture check to happen. Yet F5 access guard periodically checks the device posture and send this data to ABM so that ABM can take action. 